Hi, my name is Jason Webster. I'm Beck Cybrix, Practical Farm Research Innovation Lead. Today we are once again in the great state of Ohio. We're in Orient, Ohio with Clifton Farms, Rick and Sam Clifton. Rick and Sam are signed up in Bex Hybrid's 300 bushel challenge. Now Rick, when we were here last time, it was a little over a month ago, we actually had dry conditions when we were here. The corn was about knee high. Things looked really good. But tell us, what kind of weather have we had since that time period? We've had several rain events and they've all been relatively light ones, half inch, no more than an inch usually, mm -hmm. and they came at pretty much the right time. We got seven tenths last night, so we're really in ideal shape here for moisture. Yeah, the corn looks really good. As we, uh, we pull the plant out of the field here, kind of shows you what growth stage we're in. We're, we're going through that pollination process. We're just about done. We're just finishing up the tip on this ear. The only thing that we're seeing in the field is a little bit of gray leaf spot. Rick, as you walk the field, how much gray leaf spot are you seeing out in the field here? Oh, it's just a moderate amount, but we're going to spray it here either tomorrow or Wednesday okay. uh, to keep it in check and to make sure that doesn't limit our yield. Yeah. Right now, the yield potential looks amazing. This is probably, of, of all the yield checks we've done thus far, uh, this field has certainly got the potential to go 300 bushel. And matter of fact, we were pulling a few ears out of here, and I know we're not done with pollination yet, but we were counting 18 round by 40 long and, and looking at some of the populations that you've got out in the field. What were some of the yield checks coming up with, if we could get through pollination correctly? 272 to 306 right in there. So yeah. the potential's here if we get the weather from here on out. Rick, as I, as I look at this, this 300 bushel corn plot, wow, it looks fantastic. Give us a little bit of a recap of what you've done uh, product-wise, application-wise to this corn to make it look so good right now. <laughs> What we started with was a dry fertilizer application of phosphorus and potassium, and we did that by soil type here. Uh, then we put a growth regulator on the seed mm -hmm. when we planted it, put a row starter on it. Mm -hmm. uh, then we came back and side dressed the nitrogen on it. Uh, then we came back with about two gallon of black label, uh, probably about a month ago it was, right after you was here the last time. Uh, then today or tomorrow we're going to put fungicide Stratego, y, uh, Stratego on it. Okay. So. Rick, tell us a little bit about the nitrogen you've got out here in the 300 bushel challenge. Tell us um, uh, the, the difference in the two different rates you have out here in the field. We've got an additional 60 pounds on the plot, okay. you know, so that wouldn't be our limiting factor there. We wanted to make sure we had enough in on it. Yep. And we pulled some nitrate samples today. We were pulling 12 inch uh, cores out here in the field where he's got the additional 60 pounds of N, the recommendations were coming up that we didn't need any additional N. As we looked at the areas where we had the lower amount of nitrogen, the 60 pounds less, it was actually saying we might need just a scotch of nitrogen just to finish. So we'll have to see how that turns out in the end. But right now, this is very exciting. We've got some beautiful looking corn out here, and uh, I think we've got a good shot of hitting 300. We'll check back in with the Cliftons in about a month or so before harvest, and uh, we'll do some yield checks, and we'll see how close we can get to 300 bushel. In the meantime, this has been Jason Webster, Beck Cybers, Practical Farm Research Innovation Lead, following Clifton Farms on their personal journey to 300 bushel corn.